It's 8.31 o'clock on this cold January night. And uh, I want to see if I can wrap up this electrical project tonight. So the last thing that we're going to do here is um, install the second or the, the third fluorescent light here, which I have on top of this pile of stuff over here. And then uh, run the wire to it. Now, if I recall correctly, there was something about this that made it not very difficult to assemble or not very intuitive or something. Something wasn't really great about it. And there's no beating around the bush. These are cheap fixtures, but they're the old fashioned style. And uh, so far they're working fine. You know, these have been in here for Mm, probably not a year yet, but they've been in here for some time and they're working. So, can't be that bad. And I should have some more tubes, fluorescent tubes, I think. Made in Mexico. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. This this is really not fun to assemble. Um, it's not going to be fun to wire this up either because we're going to have to put the. Um, In order to get the wiring in here, I'm gonna have to hang the fixtures first and then put that shade on, which is not gonna be easy. So, we'll see what we can do here. Oh, we also have to, to cut this off because it doesn't like let you hardwire it for some reason, which is just dumb. So this goes like this over to here. And what we're going to do, I'm gonna think about how this is gonna work. So that wire that's plugged in right now is gonna have to go into this light. That's cool. Um, and actually, in this case, I'm gonna have to. This is gonna come in handy because I gotta. I'm gonna have to unplug this with everything else when I change that. So, oh, that might be too much power though. Let me take these off. We'll just have this one here for now. Um, okay. So the light. I need to. What I need to see is how far does this cord go that power bar is like coming off well that's fine we're done with that now after I get this fixed I won't have to, to play with that anymore which will be a, a relief such a simple thing to have lights that are easy to turn on and off um, yeah this is only going to go about halfway into the fixture so we're gonna need to take the BX cable and put it pretty far into the fixture. Hopefully I have enough left to make this run. Um, yeah, we'll have enough, but we're gonna use most of this roll in here. It's 
So these just kind of chill around here like this. And uh, I actually don't like these fixtures at all in terms of the way they work. But they were all I could find because over the last two or three years, fluorescent light fixtures have disappeared around here and I can't find them. I can't even find used ones. They're just plain gone, which is very sad. So the next thing I need to do is start stocking up on these ballasts. Well, not this particular one. I don't like these ballasts. These are instant start. Try to find some rapid start ones. And uh, I gotta start stocking the bulbs, which as of now are still available, but I think the next thing is gonna get taken away is anything with mercury. So metal halide, sodium, and uh, mercury vapor and fluorescent and CFLs. I think those are all next to go. So gotta start stocking up on those next. All right, so this nonsense, uh, with tan hard, do not, th okay. So this has the, this is where the punch out goes, um, goes in here. This whole piece is so flimsy, it's like bending and all mangled now. Good grief. Of course we got sharp burrs here and everything. If I find vintage ones, I'll replace these, but so far, I've not had any luck. And I've been looking. I have absolutely been looking. So these flaky old things, and there's no directions that tell you how to do this, which is the worst part about this, because it's not clear. 
these things fit through here like this. But before you do that, you have to put in these pieces, which are the hanging hooks. This is really dodgy to me. I don't think that this is really that secure, but this is the way it works. Um, so this, this hooks on here like this, and this is what you hang it from. And then this, uh, does it go that way or does it go this way? I guess it go this way. This go in here like this on the inside. Nope, maybe it goes the other way. Which which way does it go? Nope, it goes it goes this way. It goes like this. And I mean it works. It's just like not what it should be. Um and I meant to attach this before I did that because now this just became significantly harder. I don't want to take it back off because it will get all unstable even worse than it already is so I'm gonna have to just struggle with this to get it to work I gotta put these fans on because it actually is, even though the ceiling height in here is only seven feet, it's actually colder on the floor than it is uh, when I get up. So I think a lot of this heat just gets lost into, well, I shouldn't say it gets lost, it goes into the living room, which is not what I wanna do because there's cheap heat in the living room. Okay. That's that. Um, well, it should be, should really be facing down, because you can see it. There we go. That's good. I can live with it like that. And this one, that's one of the nice things about having carpet on the floor. You can just work right on the floor. This one I will put on before. And we know it goes like this. See, this has all got like, look at that sharp burr on there. If you don't have good working man's hand, that'll just cut right through your hands. Not good. In fact, the whole thing is like that. These are all sharp on the edges. not mind replacing these with vintage fixtures but for now until or if 
I can find vintage fixtures, and these will suffice. Some people like really hated these when I did the first video of them, but I mean, I don't really like them either, but this is all we got. You can't come up with something that doesn't exist. Sure, I'd much rather have vintage fixtures. I can't find any. Oh gosh, look at how sharp that is on the other side of that. Wow. That's crazy. Really? I prefer that come that stay intact because then I could have used it for something else to patch something along somewhere. Oh well. And we gotta deal with this plastic film again.
pathetic. not 14 gauge I think it's only uh, 16 yeah it's 16 It's very stubborn. Jeez, okay. So now we gotta get it on the ceiling and uh Yeah. This is where the fun part begins. So we know that the fixture he is going to go well we gotta get it I gotta get all this stuff out of the way too it's gonna go I guess right like this in between these beams so this one and then the one with the wires in it is where it'll go. Happen to have two hooks left. So that's cool. And then we know that it's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It goes in the seventh beam about halfway through. One, two, three, four. Yep, seventh beam about halfway through. So let's get some holes drilled. Uh, I need the ladder that's over there, which um, the car is too far over to get to it. Hmm. I guess I'll have to move it forwards. So I'm not going to staple anything down over here because both of those wires need to be rearranged. So I'll figure that out later. Just want to get it operational for now. Okay. So 
thought we said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that correct? Yep, it looks like it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's a chain there. Hmm, I wonder where I got that chain from. And if I have any more. If I do have any more, it probably is going to be in this drawer. I don't think so that I have any more of that chain and I might have to just go without it for now and if it bothers me that it's not the same I can go and get more chain but I think what I'm going to do for now just to so that we can proceed is I'm going to make hooks out of this because I have absolutely no idea where that chain is. I remember it now, I know I have more, but where it is is totally beyond me. Well, it could be in this cabinet. It's a possibility. It could be somewhere in this cabinet. Here's a spot where it could potentially be. But isn't oh it is there it is I think that's something I knew I had plenty of it left all right so I just bent one out to make the hook because I didn't think I had enough hooks. I'm trying to remember what this came from, and I, I can't remember. I really have no idea where it came from. All right, so it looks like we used about half the threads on the hook, and then one, two, three, four pieces of chain. Piece number one, and that will not, oh, it won't fit, not really. There's piece number one. one two, three, oh, it's kind of dirty, well, let's use the other side. Three, four.
Okay, so that should be good for a chain. are a bit small. Okay, let the fun begin. So this has to go all the way over to the other side, so I think I'm gonna try to put this on top of that cabinet for now. I think at one point these cabinets were in the kitchen. I think this house was really beautiful back in the day. It's really a shame that it all got canceled out at some point. That was a little easy. It was too easy. I think the real problem is gonna be the getting the shade out and everything might be fine up until then. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, so now, um, as far as the wire is concerned, Ultimately the wire will tack onto there and then go up behind here and sit like this. But uh, I want to deal with that mess first before I start tacking it up. But we'll be able to tell approximately how much slack there's going to be. And this should reach, yep, right to there. Perfect. Let's take this apart.
Now we'll reuse this plug on the other side in just a few minutes. I'm going to keep this box. I canceled out all the other ones, but I'm going to keep at least one. So put that over here, keep that in good shape. And uh, let's tack up this, this wire here. Actually, it's not tacked up there, but it's got to be tacked up above the cabinet for sure. Because that's a disaster waiting to happen. Gotta make sure the fixture is straight. Looks like it is. I'll go ahead and secure it. Leave a little bit of leeway in case we gotta change it. starting to bend. Both of those nails are starting to bend. Not good. Not good at all.
Okay, so now we're going to slip this into here. Like this. I'm not going to staple this one down yet because we got to figure out how the fixture is going to hang in terms of balance.
Okay, so all the connections are made and it's flaky as can be because it just kind of chills out in here, but that's the way these are. I guess I can tighten up that clamp. And it's pretty much going to go like that. There's not really any other options, so I guess I'll just tack it up now. Got nothing to wait for. Okay, so now this I think is a part that we're really going to have a problem with, which is getting the shade on. Because it's some stupid thing where it, like these clips hold it on. It looks like these are both non defective. I know one of these was defective, and I actually just made like a piece of wire or something. Yeah, this one here. See, I just used a piece of wire because it was not holding or something about it was just messed up And there's no way to put this on on the ground because you can't put the, um, the electrical connections on with this in place. So it, like, it has to be done after, uh, you know, after it's on the ceiling, which is kind of crazy. So this just goes. I guess this is supposed to go through here like this and then you're supposed to put it through that oval there and turn it to get it in place. That's the way it's supposed to work. I missed it. Huh. Got it on the second try. I'm impressed. Well, maybe this won't be so bad. Huh. Well, that's weird. I remember just being a total pain in the neck the first time. something to turn it with.
can't get it to turn. There we go. Now this is what I remember. This is what I remember now. I can't reach any of the tools. Well, it's just gonna have to... Maybe I can prop it up with a broom. That wasn't bad. This is not uh, even close to where it needs to be. There it goes. Well, you know, <laughs> that was pretty painless. It wasn't great, but that was pretty painless, considering how it was last time. So, uh, let's tack up the wire over here, and then uh, I'll let it just hang over there for now. Make our connections over here, and uh, that'll be it. Wasn't that difficult. I don't know why it wasn't difficult, but I'm not going to question it. That was almost a disaster. Yeah, this just will go like this, just a straight piece here like this. That looks good there. Bending and spin. I don't understand why these nails do that. It's very frustrating. The other one was working just fine. And they're both bent. I did not think this is where we were going to have problems. Really did not see this coming. But it came.
This one seems to be going in just fine. I wonder if there's some quality control problems here. So then eventually this will tack on like this and then be like that and it'll go across the wall but until uh i actually get around to doing that it'll just be kind of free like this but we'll be able to tell approximately how much wire we need which is good enough for tonight it's getting tired anyways That's what it's stuck on a screw. Why is it so much to ask for to have this sit on top of there? Okay. Okay, so that's about, oh, for heaven's sakes, why will this not stay up there? This is annoying. Seriously? That is so stupid. I don't get that at all. All right, fine. Go under it then, I don't care. Just stay. There should be about the amount of wire that we would need. So, uh, we're gonna go with that. Now I have to unplug this. Uh, no, this. So this is all the light we're gonna have for a minute. That's just one of these lights. And it's still working pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna take this wire down 
into here. I'll leave a little bit of slack because I can bury it up here somewhere if I need to. Right like that. Yeah. So we'll cut this right around here. This is going to be so nice to have this finally finished. This room has been dysfunctional for so long. Actually, all the rooms on the lower level have been dysfunctional for so long. Finally fixing them. This plastic film on here is such a pain in the neck. It keeps getting in the way of the insulation here. Buzz Baxi. Oh, what kind of funny goof brand that is. I don't know where those came from, but I guess it'll work. So we gotta pound out uh, this. Actually, both of these need to come out. Because we're gonna utilize all three uh, knockouts here. There's always a problem. Always has to be some kind of a problem. Well, that's crazy to do it like that, but I think I'm gonna have to. I hate trying to get these things started. It always doesn't work. I 
I'm not keen on this at all, but I don't know what else to do to make it work. Because they all these have one big punch out, which is stupid because it doesn't fit, but whatever. That could have been problematic. Well, I'm not sure I can live with that. I might have to replace this box with one that has, uh, you know, the right size stuff. We'll see. It looks pretty bad, so. But it'll work for tonight to get this stuff to function, and then once it's functional, we can kind of iron out the issues. I didn't realize that was like that, otherwise I would have bought a new box for here didn't matter for this one because I wasn't using the center all right so on this one the commons go together that doesn't change And this is going to get start getting difficult to close because we still got to make three more connections in here. And these two grounds will go together and then it's the this black in this black go to the switch okay and this ground goes to the switch I should add in that other unit before it uh, gets too full.
Where? Oh, here it is. Oh, I forgot this is that stupid punch-in thing. Turn off. Okay, so that should be both of the switches connected properly and both lights working. All the fluorescent lights and all of the uh, metal halide lights. So this is going to be a tight fit, which I don't like. So maybe I will change this to a deep two inch box. And it's fine to have it like that. I just don't personally like it to be that way. And especially with the way this is, I think I might have to change this box. All right, so one last connection to make, which is probably gonna use the rest of the wire, if not require the second case is to supply these outlets. Ah, actually, you might have enough here. go from here over to here and then down oh yeah there's plenty And this is where that plug will go on to for now. And eventually that'll be, I gotta rework that box because there's a switch in there for something else. And if I take that box out now, then I'll lose this switch, which I don't really need, but I'll just deal with it later. Once this is functional, all these little details become little to no priority and they can get dealt with at any other time.
All right, so this is a simple connection. This is just a like for like, which will pass power onto my outlets. What I should have done is just one straight shot through, but didn't, couldn't tell you why. Oh boy, I hope this will close. This is getting real tight in here. Might need to rework this at some point, let's see. It's gonna be very, very close.
I think we're actually going to fit. Yeah, it's going to make it. Wow. That is close. It's very tight, but should be fine. Because the switches are pretty much going to sit right about there and they're, they're going back without too much problems. Because this give us another quarter inch or so. Well, we have to take all these, I gotta take these tabs off first. That should make this fit properly. Yep, seems to. Okay, so we can remove these screws that are in there right now. Okay, it's time to seal it up. One last check of all the connection. They look pretty good. Get that grounding wire away from there though. All right, that should be fine. Move that down as much as it can. I mean, that would just trip the breaker. That's all that would do. Um, everything looks good on this side. gonna be a tight tight call but I think I uh, think everything will fit very tight call but it should fit that might be a problem down there when that wire when that screw goes in let's see Push that out of the way. Good. All right, I think we're good here. That's crazy.
Yep, it'll it'll fit. It's closed. It's closed just pretty much sitting there. thing to do yeah these switches have a much better feel to them that was a good call um, last thing to do is to put the staples in there and put a plug on this cord and then we'll be done here with this uh, electrical project we'll finally have good functional electrical here in the garage whatever leaf that will be This is the feed for the outside light, uh, the up lights and the street light out there. Be adding a lot more feeds for that come the springtime. A lot more street lights to go up, landscape lights, up lights, all sorts of lighting all over the yard. It's going to look great. ran out of battery but we're back and we're almost done which is good because I'm getting hungry and tired and it's getting late
Okay, so this will sort out better at a later date. If there's extra, it can just kind of go up like that and that's fine. And this is, this needs to, actually it's gonna follow the same path pretty much. It too is gonna go up here like this and then come over this way. This is probably such a bad idea. This is gonna come over to this, go like that, and then it'll eventually end up here. Um, for now, it's just gonna plug in, but it'll eventually actually be real and just kind of wire in like it's supposed to. But this switch and everything, I don't wanna take that away, plus the outlet for the for the outdoor lighting, I'm gonna want to have that on in a week or two from now when the Christmas lights go away. So I'm not gonna dismantle that right now. I just stick a plug on there and call it a day.
course, the simple task of putting the receptacle together is going to put up the biggest fight here. It's easier to put that stupid uh, life fixture together than this. Okay. go. Um, got to get some fluorescent tubes. I think I have two fluorescent tubes or I don't know how many are in here actually. I have no idea. There should be at least two. Yeah, it feels like there's probably six in here. <gasps> Whoa, that was almost catastrophic. There's actually quite a few in here. There's uh, seven. I don't know how that could be unless one of them was defective. Phillips, supposedly a good brand. These are F32T8, 4100 Kelvin. You know what else we need in here? An exit sign. I'll pick one up next time I'm at the store. Unless they're ridiculously expensive. I actually have no idea what they cost. I've never bought one before. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, this I should be able to plug back in though. Actually, well, duh, everything I can plug back in. Uh, nope, that go gosh, that goes in here. See, that's why I wanted that to be. That's why it should be twist lock. But I'm not spending ninety dollars on it. All right, that's working. The fans are working again. This will have to take a minute to restrike, but I will move that back to where it belongs, where its new home is. So now let's see if we get sparks and flames or light. We get light. Beautiful. All three fixtures are operating properly. And this stuff is clinging to me because it's so dry in here. Okay. Well, we're in business as far as that's concerned. Now, Let's go ahead and plug in this, these outlets here. And we'll put the outlet tester on there to make sure they're good. And then we can plug in the cordless phone. Uh. And then I'm going to go to sleep. So for now, let's see here. The 
This will be a little bit unsightly for the time being, but this will just uh, kind of go like this. That's not too bad. And this all will just go up here. It can sit right on those screws because it doesn't matter. That should not be on the screw because that would matter. So then in due time when I deal with that, uh, this, this will go away. The plugs will go away and it'll just connect right in. Um, Oops. So this, these outlets here, we should now have 15 amps on these outlets. And this is a problem, so we will have to do something about that. I think putting a screw in right there might just solve that problem. And if it's that simple, which it probably is, we'll go ahead and take care of that right now. Let's get a brand new screw so it looks nice. Ouch, it's got cut in the workbench. This piece is, and we have to fix that. Yep, that solved the problem. It comes in and out perfectly now. Okay, so there we go. And this can this can stay here the way it's supposed to or the way I intended it to do it. And now the cordless phone, which is on this power bar, I can charge up the cordless phone like this. What the heck is going on here? And then we'll have the three other outlets open for discretional use. Charge. Okay. We're good here. This is a little bit crooked. It's always been like that. It's just the way it is. So that's that's pretty much done now. That's the way it's going to stay. Uh, sans from potentially having to play games with that that uh, ceiling fan control at some point. Design some kind of a custom one. This is how it'll be. And this will plug in here. Wow, that's still not ready to restrike. And then this, this can go away because this looks ridiculous. And then these, those two fixtures and that fixture will, will find a new home somewhere else. And uh, what I will do is I'll probably find somewhere else to put this stuff and then, and then I'll build another tabletop over here. So this can be kind of another table. In fact, I have a, a big cabinet that I could put here, but I think it might uh, might be too much. Oh, I could move it over and out. We'll see, it's a whole different story. So that's it. Electrical projects in the garage are finally wrapping up. The next major electrical project will be probably the studio. We're gonna put some new lighting in the studio, get the ceiling fan test rig put up, a couple more outlets, some under cabinet lighting. And then in the spring, we're going to do a bunch of wiring in here in regards to uh, running more feeds outside and getting them switched upstairs instead of like this because this is stupid. <laughs>